Hi friends, it's Deanna here and we are going to be sewing up the Chapman cardigan today. Now, um, the Chapman cardigan is the same for the, for the, I'm sorry, for the kids version and the adult version. Okay, I'm sewing the adult version um, just because I wanted one, um, but um, it's going to be the same steps for the kids version. So if you're doing the kids version, don't worry that this is a huge one. You're still going to be doing the same just in a smaller uh, version of what I'm doing. So the first thing we're going to do is I already cut out all my pieces. They're all ready. And um, so here's my back. I'm gonna put it face up on my table and I'm gonna place, this is my back, so I'm gonna place my front and right sides together in front of it. My two front sides matching up the right sides together. Remember, this is the this is where the armpit is, so you need to make sure that that side is on this side. You don't wanna put it on this side. It doesn't go, okay? So here's my armpit, so I'm gonna put it on my shoulder right here and I'm going to match those up. And I'm going to serge that raw edge. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. Again, making sure they match. This is where my armpit goes. You want to make sure that's correct. And arm, matching the arms pin. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew those shoulders on. So the shoulders on. I'm using a different serger today than my usual. Where did I put the other one? Uh, this one is, I've, I've had this one, I just haven't really used it very much. I use my other one more. So it's like a whole new process of, and I don't know where I do with my scissors. You know, this happens to me all the time. I get everything ready and then I start and I realize that I don't know where I put it. And I know I throw the trash over on the ground when I have a perfectly fine little trash bucket here. But anyway, that's just me. I'm sure nobody else does that. <laughs> I hope that everybody else does that too. Okay, well, anyway, I have my uh, shoulder piece, my shoulders on. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and find my back, the back of my piece. So I'm going to grab the two shoulder seams, put them together. And I'm gonna go to the back and I, how I like to mark things is I like to do a little notch, but if you don't wanna do that, you can do a pin or a clip, it's fine. You can just mark it however you want to. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to get my neck band. Okay, so I'm gonna fold it uh, wrong sides together. That's how I want it. Make sure I have wrong sides together. And I'm going to find the middle of it. So how I do that is I'm going to put it together just like this and I'm gonna find the middle. It will be fine, put the two bottom together and here's my middle piece. So once is the two wrong sides together I know I'm licking my fingers, bros. I um, when my fab I need to get some um. What is it called? The stuff to put in your fingers when you're sewing. I don't have any. I need to get some, but I haven't. So. I was licking my fingers. That's what I was doing. Oof. Okay, so here's my back piece. Now I notched it just like I did my uh neck, my back of the my neck. So now that I notched that I know that that's where they need to meet. So I'm gonna meet it right there at that back notch. And from there, I'm going down to the one side. Make sure I'm meeting those raw edges with the side of my vest, um, my vest, I say my vest, my sweater. So here's my sweater. Here's the side of my sweater. Okay, this is my front, this is my back. I put, here, let me pick it up to show you. I put, I mark my back, remember, and here's my front. I'm gonna put it flat side, lay side, right side up. And so I met where the back piece is, the middle of my neck band. And I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom, okay? 
and I am going to have to stretch a little bit, not a whole lot, just a little bit to make it all the way down, okay? So if you want to, you can go ahead and match up those rises at the bottom first, because you're going to have to um, stretch a little bit. And I kind of wish I would have done better with pattern matching with some of uh, with this, but I am not the best at pattern matching. So I did a little bit, but not very much. But I think you'll be fine. Okay, you're stretching a little bit to make sure that it all connects. Hold on, let me. Right sides together, raw edges together. Ah, pulled myself. All right, okay. So you're gonna stretch it and put it together and now I'm gonna go over to the other side and do the same thing. And then once you're done doing that, once you have it pinned together, you're going to sew all the way down. Now, if you want to, if it helps for you, um, you could um, start at the middle, at the back seam and go down to one side and then go back to the back seam and go down the other side. So it's up to you however you wanna do it. Now, you can do a stretch stitch or you can do, uh, I'm gonna do it on my serger, so I'm just gonna use my serger but you can do it, if you wanna do it with a stretch stitch, you can go ahead and do that. It's up to you. This is up to you. All right, here we are. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead with my serger and I'm gonna sew all the way around that edge. You see, it's put together, now I'm gonna go ahead and sew all the way around, all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll come back and we'll do the next step, which would be our sleeves. All right, as you can see, I'm still I'm still sewing this band together, but I wanted to show you that as you go, you wanna stretch the band just a little bit so that it'll fit all the way around. I know I already told you that, but I just wanted to show you because I wanted to make sure I made that clear. You're stretching a little bit. It really doesn't stretch that much, but you're just stretching a little bit to make sure that it fits all the way down. And then when you're done and you turn it right side out, your band will be on there nice and neatly. And you'll turn it around and you'll steam that down. And when you steam it, it'll be laid nice and flat. Okay? Now we're going to move on to our uh, sleeves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my sleeve and I'm going to clip the uh, center back of it. So it's, it's folded in half from when I cut it. This is my top center, so I wanted to clip that and make sure I have that so I know where that is. Because I am going to put my, uh, now looks like a vest, face up on my board and where my shoulder seam is, I'm gonna go ahead and put my sleeve right on top of it, face down, where that I match where I met that, uh, I made that um, little mark. I'm gonna match right there. And then I'm gonna go from there, I'm going down the side. Let me make sure I try. Yeah. I was trying to see if I had different sleeve that I wanted, if I wanted the other, the, the other one that I cut, the mirror one to be on this side or not. Doesn't matter. I was trying to see if I had pattern matching, but I don't. I don't think I I did that. I'm trying to think, but I can't, I can't remember. I'm not very good at um, matching the patterns. It doesn't really bother me as much as it, it bothers some people. I know I love my mother-in-law and she has to have everything matching, all the stripes and everything. I'm just like, nah, it looks good. It looks good like that. It's too much work. I'm gonna go ahead and put my other sleeve on while we're at it. That way I can sew both of them at the same time. So I'm doing the same thing. I am just attaching the sleeve. I mark that top. I'm attaching it to the top of the, where the um, shoulder is. 
and then I'm gonna go down to the one side and then and I'm gonna go all the way down and then when I get to the end when I've already put both of them on you don't have to put both of them on at the same time you can do one at a time I'm just doing both at the same time because that's just then I just go ahead and sew we're gonna sew that raw edge this raw edge so we're gonna sew both of them together again you can use a stretch stitch is that's what you would like to do on your sewing machine I am using my serger which I like the way that it gives it a clean look so if you're wondering if you if you sew a lot with knits and you're wondering if a serger is worth the investment I would say yes it is worth the investment all right so here's the raw edge and I'm gonna go ahead and sew those two raw edges together all the way around pulling the pin slowly as I go making sure every time I gotta make sure that I've got both fabrics in okay so I'm gonna go slowly and I'm gonna go all the way around that arm I mean that shoulder seam all the way around okay now with the with the patterns there is um, they already come with the seam allowance so you don't have to worry about adding the seam allowance in there when you're uh, cutting the pattern so that's really good and it tells you on the pattern itself how much of a seam allowance to give the pattern so here we are I'm going all the way around my sleeve and I'm going slowly because like I said because of it being kind of like going around the shoulder I want to make sure that I keep my other fabric out of the way and that both of these two sleeves are together so that's why I'm going a little bit slower than I usually go so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this sleeve the both of the sleeves up and then we'll move on to our next step so now that my sleeve is on I'm gonna go ahead and sew these sides together and I already sewed my other side together but this is the other side, the one I haven't done yet. So we're gonna pin along the edge, starting at the armpit seam because I wanna make sure that that's even. And I am going all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm going to go down the sleeve, the side of the sleeve, the, the inside of the sleeve, down. Okay. Matching those raw edges together, right sides together. Matching at the raw edge. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love this, these, um, this cardigan. So I'm excited for this because it's about to, it's like that time of year where it's like not cold, but not hot and you need like a cardigan to go over. So this is a great time for this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and search that side together. I keep going over here because on my other serger, my uh, little lever thing is on this side, so I keep going on this side. Thinking it's gonna be right there. But it isn't. It's on this side. So I sewed that side together. So my cardigan is basically put together. Take all this stuff off. Here comes my sleeve, take it out. My cardigan's looking great. Okay, it's like a grandpa cardigan. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my sleeve cuffs. So I've got my, my, my scuff, I've got my cuff right here. And I'm gonna do this to the, both of the cuffs. I'm gonna fold it right sides together right on top of each other I cut that kind of weird when I when I I guess when I cut my pattern because that's kind of poking out a little bit okay so I'm gonna sew that raw edge right there straight to make it like a continuous um, loop a band and now I am gonna meet those raw edges at the top and pin together at that seam I'm gonna pin it at the seam so that the seam is together those two seams 
I'm going all the way around pinning, I mean, matching the raw edges. Wrong sides together. Okay, so now that it's all done, I'm gonna grab my sleeve. I'm gonna fit my cuff into my sleeve. So here's my sleeve, right side out. And I'm gonna match, I'm gonna put in my sleeve cuff into the sleeve. And I'm gonna match the seam of the cuff with the seam of the sleeve at the raw edges. Okay, so the raw edges are showing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it and meet the raw edges of everything. So that's three layers of fabric. I'm gonna stretch out a little bit. I wanna stretch out a little bit so that way I can even it out. And when I stretch out like this, is how I do my cuffs. When I stretch out like this, this is gonna be my half right here. Then I grab those two and I fold them together and I stretch out the other way and that's how I find my quarters on my cuffs. Now you can do this, you can find the quarters and all that stuff before you put it on there and match it like you do a neckband. And I, um, you can do that if you want, but um, this is just the fast way of doing it. I know because that um, arm band, the band is smaller than the actual sleeve, obviously, because you're banding it. So it's, you just have to stretch a little bit. Okay, so now that the raw edges are together, I'm gonna go ahead and serge. Actually, I'm gonna start at the seam. I always like to start at the seam. I don't know why I pulled that one pin out. And when you're serging, you gotta make sure, see I went to go on that side. You wanna make sure that all three of your edges are together. And you wanna grab the next pin and pull slightly to stretch out the band. Then go to the next pin and pull lightly that they all are matching. And then you go to the next one, do the same thing. And I do it slowly because I wanna make sure I'm grabbing all my fabric. I wanna make sure everything's coming in nice and neat. Last one. If you do need more help with bands or anything like that, there is a video on our page. Here it is about bands, how to do bands. So there's my armband. Now I just need to do my other armband, but I'll do that in a minute. Let's go ahead and move on to the waistband. Here's my waistband, nice and neat. What I'm gonna do first, and I'm gonna turn my uh, band like a hot dog. I'm gonna turn it like a hot dog, and I'm gonna meet it right sides together first. And at the edge right here, I'm gonna sew it together one edge and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other edge. I'm gonna sew it right sides together at my bands, okay? Meeting at the raw edges, sewing them closed. And I'm gonna show you why in a minute, as soon as I do it. There's one, here's the other. Now I'm going to turn it. Okay, so I went ahead and cut it, but now I'm gonna turn it right side out. And the reason why I did that is now I have this edge right here, clean. For when I attach it to my um, sweater, this will be my edge. So now I'm gonna steam that spot right there where I turned it right side out. And now I'm going to attach it right sides together to the bottom of my cardigan. Let me go ahead and make sure that these are even and uh, together. Raw edge is together. I'm grabbing my cardi and I'm placing it. I'm gonna go ahead and place it right side up right here on my table. Oop. Get rid of all these guys, we don't need them. I guess I should probably throw them in the trash, but I don't. Here's my Cardi face up right here. So I'm gonna match my, uh, you can find, let's go ahead and do that. Let's find the back center of your, of your line, of your line, 
of your um, cardigan and of your band. That way it will be even. Okay, and then we're doing the same thing we did to the sides. We're gonna go ahead and match that up right there. You need to match it up, we're almost done. And then we're gonna go down to the one side, all the way to the edge. Just pull a little bit, making sure it's even. And pin, 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 however many pins you wanna do. And then go up to the other side and do the same thing. Match it to the, to the edge, pin the edge, and then pin all the way down. Making sure that raw edge is touching the raw edge. Okay. Gosh, I'm off, but just a little bit. I'm so bad at matching the stripes. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and serge those two together. Again, making sure that you're catching all of them, and you are going all the way down. Sometimes when I'm serving something like this, I like to put my pins. If you can see, my pins are farther in, out of the way. So that way I can just keep going. I don't have to worry about my pins. I have to worry about this one. This one didn't make it. Okay, and at the end, we leave a tail that we will go back in afterwards and tuck in. Now, I don't have a needle with me, and I should have brought one, but I use um, a bigger needle, like a tapestry needle or whatever, and I weave this um, part in, weave it back in. And then if you want to, or you can top stitch that down, or if you want to, once I do that sometimes, I go ahead with my uh, sewing machine and I sew a back and forth stitch right here to just give it reinforcement. But other than that, our cardi is done. I do have to finish that one cuff that I didn't finish yet. And I will, but here's my cardigan. Just wanna show you how cute it is. How cute is that? And that was so quick, so quick. Look at how cute, I love it. Do you love it? I hope you love it. I hope you had a great time sewing with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope now you're not so intimidated about making your own things. Um, so give me a shout out. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you do, I'll try to get back to you and answer uh, in a quick manner. And um, if you are making one for yourself, please, once you do, post it on our Facebook page or our Instagram. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get all the YouTube tutorials. So it'll announce it and let you know when we've got a new one coming out. Um, and other than that, please like, comment, and share. And let me know what you think. And I hope you have a great, get great rest of your day. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, this is the shark bite. I know some of you asked me what I'm wearing. Um, and this is I, this one I love, so I wanted to show you. This is the shark bite. And I do have a tutorial for that. So have a good night, guys. See you next time. Bye.